Hello everybody, you are listening to Pastor Alfred's Audiobooks for Kids. I'm your host, Pastor Alfred. Pastor Alfred's Audiobooks for Kids is a broadcast series that gives you the opportunity to hear excerpts of books that I'm writing or books that I have already written and I have published that showcase stories for children. Sometimes they are short stories within collections of short stories. Some other times they are single books for children. The story I'm about to read to you right now is called The Forbidden Book Stack. To get the story as well as more stories like this, go to pastoralfred.com and subscribe. Once upon a time, there lived a little girl named Sandra. She grew up in a home that had all the wonderful material things that life had to offer. Sandra's parents weren't Christians, but they were the kind of people whose Christianity went only as far as taking Christianity anytime they filled a form that asked about their religion. Also, if they were really bored on Christmas Day, because what they had planned to do wasn't as satisfying as they might have anticipated, then they might stroll into any close by church they see that looks good from the outside. Sandra, on the other hand, liked to go to a church near their house because she had friends there. She enjoyed the sermons in the children's church. She thought the teacher there was fun, but most importantly, she wanted to have a relationship with Jesus. Sandra wasn't forced to go to church, and she was only allowed to go to church as far as her personal maid escorted her. One day, Sandra's mom walked into Sandra's room and finds her reading a book for grown-ups. Sandra's mom collects the book from her and tells her not to read such books, that she's too young to read such books. She tells her that any time she sees a book, movie, or music CD with a warning on it indicating that it is for adults, she should stay away from it because the information in it can ruin a younger mind. Technically, anything that can ruin a kid can also ruin an adult, but Sandra's mom didn't know that. What she knew, even though it wasn't 100% correct, was quite helpful, and it was what she had just told Sandra. Sandra, however, felt that her mom was just being a mom. She underestimated how intelligent she was. Surely anything an adult can handle, she can also handle. So Sandra still went ahead and read the books behind her mom's back. Most of the books belonged to her mom, and her mom would stack them in her own personal wardrobe, which was different from her husband's wardrobe. The books didn't contain unclean images, but they contained a certain percentage of inappropriate language. Sandra could hear a voice in her head telling her that she shouldn't continue reading the books, that the books are not good for her. But Sandra cast the voice aside and continued to sneak into her mom's wardrobe to pinch books as long as they weren't one of the ones at the very top of the various rows of books. Sandra enjoyed reading the books and hiding them under her pillow anytime she heard her mom's footsteps coming towards her room for a lovely and fun mother-daughter chat. One day, Sandra talks to her friends in school about what she read the previous day. The next thing you know, everybody was calling Sandra a rotting girl. Next, she was in the principal's office with a very angry principal calling her parents. Guess who ended up getting spanked later on big time at home? Next time, when Sandra is given instructions, she wouldn't think it's wise to disobey the end. So that's an interesting story called The Forbidden Book Stack. 
I hope you got the message behind it. That's a story I wrote over 10 years ago. And it's interesting to read it now. I get a very interesting feeling when I go back and read these stories. Anyway, this story is actually within a collection of stories called Happy Home. Go to any online bookstore and ask or and search for Happy Home by Pastor Alfred. You will see this story as one of the stories within the collection of books called Happy Home. So that's it for this episode. If you are listening to this broadcast and you've not given your life to Christ before, I would like you to go to pastoralfred.com and click on the salvation prayer link in the main menu. When you do that, a page come out that has a prayer of salvation. Say that prayer and become a Christian. I would like you to then join the family after that. The family is an online fellowship that I founded. It's there to help you grow in your Christian faith and learn more about Christianity. So make sure you check out joining the family. Become a member of the family. Also keep in mind that there is an opportunity for you to invest in the Pastor Alfred conglomerates, any of the Pastor Alfred companies, any of the companies that I have founded and I'm running. There's ample opportunity to invest in them in one capacity or the other. There's also opportunity for you to partner with us on a new venture. You know, as a matter of fact, if you are out there, you want to start your own company, you want to start your own business and you want a partner or you would like us to partner with you, you see, financially and also idea-wise and even when it comes to resources like labor that we can provide for you, you know, so a good workforce and everything like that will provide for you so that we'll work together financially and grow. So that opportunity is also there. Go to pastoralfred.com for details. Once again, thank you and God bless you.